break. <laughs> Send me a tweet about our show during this hour. At Howard Kurtz, we'll read the best ones at the end of the program. When we come back, an armed standoff with a Western rancher becomes the stuff of TV drama. Or was he turned into a hero? When federal authorities got into a tense confrontation with a Nevada rancher named Cliven Bundy, who had failed for years to pay grazing fees on his land, it was all over Fox News. Bundy even granted an interview to Sean Hannity, and that prompted some criticism from the left. This comes just days after hundreds of people showed their support for the rancher, saying this battle is not about his cattle or unpaid grazing fees but states' rights and government overreach. It looks like the government is bullying this, um, this uh, cattle farmer, Mr. Bundy, who I'm very sympathetic with. He's just trying to make a living. I don't I feel sorry for the guy at all. He's a tax dodge. What would happen if they came in the early morning hours one day to your ranch? Get your army away from my ranch and off Clark County public land and keep it out. And if they come, we'll deal with them tonight. If that's what we got to do, we'll just deal with you. Yes, when you got guts enough to do it, come on. Fox News and Sean Hannity should be ashamed of their coverage of this lawbreaker. I think Sean Hannity is cheerleading for armed conflict with the federal government. Those are pretty strong words, Jim Pinkerton. And they are strong words, and I think the mainstream media have done their best to, to slime uh, uh, Bundy. They, the, the New York Times keeps calling him a deadbeat, deadbeat de over and over again. I, and I think that the uh, larger issues here, uh, the media are ignoring. Like, why does the government own all the land in Nevada? Uh, 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 you know, how, where did it, where was it written that 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 everybody in Nevada, would, every farmer and rancher, would have to be a, a federal tenant in the first place? How, how did that happen? And, but this and, notion that Fox has become a champion for Clyde Bundy. Uh, Fair or unfair? I, I think Sean Hannity clearly has been a champion, for uh, no, no doubt about it. And I think he speaks to a, a lot of people who think that the, 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 the something called Sagebrush Rebellion was something erupted in, in, the, in the 70s and the 80s in the West, and it became an important part of the Republican coalition. Now, with fracking and this energy thing, the, the, uh, the stakes are a million times higher. The Institute for Ener Energy Research has a study showing that there's 128 trillion, with a T, trillion dollars in oil and natural gas under federal lands. And it's not any of it's being used because of the, exactly the restrictions that Bundy's up against. Right, but that's of course not driving the coverage. Kelly Goff, in your view, is Fox overplaying this story? This is a news story. This is not a major news story, and it should not be covered as one. And I think that that's the, the criticism here, is it's being treated like it, you know, it really is, uh, you know, the, the I, I can't even look at the war coverage or something that warrants that level of attention, and it doesn't. And I think that that's what is the, the misfire here. Well, it's very similar to what we were talking about at the top of the show, which is race. I mean, this shows, this story about the Bundys shows the divisive media culture, right? So you have Rachel Maddow of MSNBC who is saying, well, no one was shot, and I bet Fox News was really disappointed about that. I mean, that's a horrible, horrible, horrible thing to say. And the fact that she would say it just shows that she wants to do the blame game and not really cover the story because that's the soundbite that was covered. Um, but I, I don't think I can recall another incident where a guy who everybody basically acknowledges is a lawbreaker who hadn't paid his grazing taxes or fees for 20 years has been, uh, even if there was, and it appears that there was, a severe federal overreaction has been made into, if not a hero, maybe a sympathetic figure. Well, I think part of it has to do with the fact the Bureau of Land Management's attempt to manipulate the Endangered Species Act to use a desert tortoise. But you keep as bringing up these other issues. No, I, I keep bringing up because, because, because the point is, if you put the guy in a box of listen, we're gonna, we're going to wipe out your livelihood and now deal with it because we're because we're the government, we get to we get to decide. Yeah, he, he looks bad. If you say, why did the government own the land and why did the government use the Endangered Species Act to crush this guy? Those are legitimate questions too. Bundy said in one interview that he doesn't recognize the U.S. government. He only recognizes the government of the state of Nevada. Now, if it had been some left-wing environmentalist who said that? Do well, you think the coverage would have been different uh, in this kind of confrontation? Oh I, I, oh, I can do you one better, Howard. I've written stories about, you know, plenty of poor men, some of them minorities, who have been wrongfully charged with t child support they don't know, whether the kid turns out not to be theirs or it turns out they were serving their country somewhere. Mm -hmm. And I don't see those people being treated as national heroes. And those are people who are legitimately getting dealt a bad hand. This is someone who fits the demographic they are trying to reach of people who feel disillusioned by the government and who would probably feel like this country is no longer the country they want it to be, which is it's becoming more urban, it's becoming more racially uh, mixed, it, and that's who the story is targeting, and it's not a major story, and that's why I think this is really egregious here. But there is a major story in Salt Lake City. The, the Salt Lake City Tribune has, has a piece about Western lawmakers getting together to talk about why the government's owning all their land. That's nothing to do with Nevada at all, right. it's, it's, go. it's directly, but just reality.
Jim Pinkerton, Kelly Goff, thanks very much for joining us this Sunday. Uh, 